these are the components required this is the semantic now remove these screws of mosquito zapper and remove the case discharge the storage charge remove the screw of the circuit now desolder the wires of the zapper and then desolder the charging input wires this is the high voltage generator circuit this is the capacitor which generates the high voltage output now remove the charging wires it is optional you can keep it if you want to charge this take a half meter hookup wire and make coil as shown in the video This is the high voltage generator circuit. We create a spark gap at any one of the terminal of output capacitor and then connect one wire of coil at the spark gap and connect another wire of the coil directly to the another terminal of the output capacitor. When the circuit is on, we can see the spark here. According to the schematic, solder one terminal of the coil at the one terminal of the capacitor. To create spark gap, glue the wire near to the capacitor terminal at a distance of 2 mm or less than it. Now you can see the generation of the spark at the spark gap which we have created. Now solder the wires for the external switch. Now place the circuit in the case carefully and don't forget to turn on the switch before closing the case. Now apply some glue to the case and fix the switch. Now apply double sided type to fix the battery. Now solder the wires to the external switch. Now we test it. We can see this watch is reset when we on the EMP jammer. Let's on it. Yes, it's changed it to one. Thank you for watching. Subscribe for more videos.